Hi gorgeous, um, here we are again. So this is the end of week two now as I've been a full-time photographer for two whole weeks. Um, I just thought I'd check in and let you know what's happened in the last week and what's been going on. Um, if you remember in the last video I mentioned how I have four weddings in November. So the last week has felt a little bit more like work, a little still on holidays but, but a little bit more editing and um, my to-do list is growing rapidly. Um, so I've been trying to edit the weddings that I've had. So I've had two already. Um, I'm trying to get them done as quickly as I can so that the brides have them sort of before December because um, I always try to turn it around really quickly for them. Um, so yeah, so that's sort of my last week's been a lot of editing. I was able to go location scouting on Thursday with a friend of mine, which is, was awesome. Normally, obviously, I'd be in an office and unable to do that during the week. So it was really cool to be able to go and sort of scout and have a look around for the wedding that I had on Friday um, and made me feel a bit more confident as well, knowing where I was taking my bride and groom in the bridal party. Um, and luckily, because I did have a, a lookout in mind and we rocked up there and there'd been a fire, so it was all burnt and, and terrible. So I'm so glad that I sort of sussed that out beforehand, otherwise that could have been quite embarrassing. Um, so I'd really like to, now that I'm full time and I have um, obviously eight hours a day um, to do what I like um, towards my business, I would like to scout before every wedding. I always try to do that before a shoot just so I am more comfortable and I can find those epic places that are, are a little bit more hidden and um, a little bit off the beaten track. I love finding those little spots and you've got to have time up your sleeve to be able to do that. Um, so it's definitely a goal of mine is to be able to go and, and look around before every wedding and every engagement shoot just to know where I'm taking my clients. So this last week I was a little bit more structured with my time. Um, I tried to allow sort of, you know, five to six hours a day of editing. So after every wedding, I've sort of, I have a whole stack of photos to go through. So normally, you know, I might have 15 to 1800 to go through and cull down to the, sort of the 800 to 1,000 that a couple gets. So um, I allowed five to six hours a day just to go through and start that process. Um, and then in the, yeah, in the afternoon, I was working on other, other projects. So I'm sort of thinking now um, big picture stuff, trying to work out after these November weddings. I've only got one booking in December and one or two in January. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to fill my time. So I'm thinking about doing some workshops or or just different things that I can help people, um, yeah, and spend, spend some time with people teaching them what I know as well. Um, so yeah, I spent some time during the week sort of thinking and, and mapping that out a little bit. Um, so it was a lot more structured than my first week. So I'm going to, again, improve on that next week, I think. I want to sort of make time to go for a walk during the day and get out and get some fresh air. Or, um, I've found being cooped up in the house as being a bit of a challenge. Um, not talking to anyone all day. Poor Nick cops it when he gets home because I have all these words left over that I haven't used during the day. So probably just need to make sure I change that up a little bit next week. Um, so thanks so much for tuning in this week, Gorgeous. Um, it's been great to share this journey with you and I hope you're finding some of it interesting or um, getting something out of it as well. Um, yeah, tune in next week and I'll give you an update on week three and, and what's going on in the life of me as a full-time photographer. <laughs> Um, and yeah, please, if you've um, got something out of the video, hit like, share uh, or comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks so much. See ya.